So if you've been following the channel, you would have seen that I've covered now about five or six of the Apollo Lake laptops. And you probably noticed that the performance is not the same, even though they are using the same chipset, the Apollo Lake Celeron M3450. That's got a maximum turbo of 2.2 gigahertz and has Intel HD 500 integrated graphics. Now there is a reason why this is happening and mostly it's down to one thing and that is BIOS settings from the manufacturer really on the options they decide to go with will depend on what kind of GPU performance we're going to see out of this chipset and let's face it it's not a very powerful chipset it does really need all the help it can get. So most manufacturers have their BIOS settings completely locked out to us but a lot of these Chinese brands for example, this one here, which is the Soma 21, will have the BIOS completely unlocked. So you are able to tweak a lot of things in there. The Chewy Lapbook 12.3, which is in the background there, just doing a Windows update that's taking forever, that has all of these options disabled to the end user. And there's probably a good reasoning why Chewy have done this. They firstly don't want you to brick your laptop, and secondly, probably to stop it from getting too hot. Now with this one here, for example, under thermals, you can go along and turn things off like the dynamic platform framework. You can also do that on the Chewy, but there's a trade-off there that it will get super hot. And this is what this is here. This is to stop the CPU getting too hot. It's like a safety measure and it controls the throttling. So it will clock down the clocks to stop it from heating up too much. Now on tablets that have tablets and laptops like this one here that have good thermals on them, they've got a nice copper heatsink in there then some of these options could be tweaked a little bit, but do so, of course, at your own risk. But this one out of the box runs a lot faster anyway than a lot of the other laptops out there because of options like this, which is the CPU power management. The power limit one is disabled. Now on other laptops like the Lapbook, for example, that's gonna be enabled, stopping it from consuming too much power and getting too hot, but of course, affecting the GPU performance there. And here you can see that that difference it makes on having the different thermal settings and the power limits is huge. We're talking about 40 to 45% difference here. This is the Civil Top Air, otherwise known as the T-Book Air, which is one of the highest performance ones I have tested so far. And you see there that we get a score which is uh, 60 six frames per second almost 67 frames per second average this is the chewy lapbook 12.3 so the frame rate there the average it got this is 1080p on high settings of the models the rest of it is kind of low settings but all of them have been tested with the same setting and it only gets there 36 frames per second so a lot slower all right so now we know the difference between why we're not getting the same equal performance when it comes to the integrated graphics on these models with the same exact chipset. Even though the two in the rear, the Chewy Lapbook 12.3 and then the EasyBook 3 Pro have two gigabytes of additional RAM, it means that the GPU still really isn't seeing any benefit from that due to different power limits and thermal limits. So if you do plan to do a bit of gaming on the side on these Apollo Lakes, the laptops I have been looking at, then try to find one that has these tweaks to the BIOS, which is the Civil Top Air and then the Ondashoma 21. Now, if you don't intend to game, then the performance on all of these, CPU-wise, is exactly the same. The benefit is only given, really, to the integrated GPU, and that is it. So, I wouldn't personally be gaming much at all on this, but it would be nice to have at least better gaming performance. If you decided to, yeah, I'm gonna play a bit of Counter-Strike on 800 times 600 resolution, it is the difference between having playable frame rates and not playable frame rates. As you've seen in some of my latest videos, you can go from 50 frames per second to down to about 25 on ones that don't have these BIOS tweaks. Thanks a lot for watching. I will be back with more up and coming reviews on tech out of China and possibly one or two more Apollo Lake Notebooks.